began to organize crime way back there. And I was a U.S. Attorney's Office and we prosecuted the police. I think it, it's stated in here, and I think it's very well put, that actually money laundering is the lifeblood of organized crime. If you can shut off that flow, that's right. then uh, that's one way to really get at it. Well, may I just add this? I think it's appropriate for me to say, being on the federal court 35 years, on November 1st, that you have a superb attorney general, and you're very fortunate well, in that respect. I think you get that out of my system. Well, I'm pleased to hear you say that, and I thank you. It's a, it confirms what I've always thought. And, <laughs> and I also want to thank you and all your colleagues for your work on this, for you to take this on. Well, I, I thought you wouldn't have anything to do in the next two weeks, and so we get something. Between stops. <laughs> <laughs> well, I look forward to reading it. I thank you very much. You very much. Thank you. Thank you. circumstances, it is our privilege, Mr. President, to present you with this magnificent Helen Bain Eagle of Freedom in honor of your receiving the Grand McNamee Award for having ascended into higher fields in sports <laughs> you are a most distinguished member. There are any? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I think it altogether fitting and proper that we have the opportunity Gracing our forthcoming dinner. Well, we'll be inducting such famous people posthumously as Grand McRae, Ted Hughes, and Bill Stern, and still fortunately with this red author and Mr. Dunphy. So we thank you, sir. Well, Howard, I thank you, and I'm greatly honored. Uh, I'm sorry that I can't be present at the dinner. I appreciate very much your doing this and coming here. And, uh, I am, that was a very important part of my life, and I am in very excellent company. I might add that it's a fine thing that your former agent is finally doing for you. <laughs> yes. This is the first physical <laughs> that he's executed in five decades. Mr. President, may I say something? Yes. Graham Martin, he would have been proud to be here today with you. Well, thank you very much. I, you know, radio, and now, of course, television, but radio has such an impact. It came into being in a lifetime, I think, of most of us here. Maybe one or two of you. The state of the H.O. sound you. Yes. And uh, those names, uh, they were very much a part of my life. Graham, Ted Husey, 
Stern. And as a matter of fact, I uh, remember doing a broadcast of Bill Stern when, for the network when I was at HO and the Drake Relays and he was over East Penn Relay, which always occur on the same day. But, uh, this is this is a very great honor, and I'm most grateful. Wait, thank you. And uh, Mr. Barber, by the way, spoke to me last night, Rick Barber, and uh, said that thank you so much. Your 75th birthday, you have made a special broadcast for you. Yes. And he said, please be sure to convey. He still remembers it, and he still appreciates it. Very good. I was, I was pleased to do it. Thank you. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank you, Jeffrey Sussman. Mr. President, in the World Almanac's fifth annual national poll, 4,000 high school students from all over the United States, 145 cities, selected you as one of their heroes. Congratulations from the World Almanac staff and myself. Well, thank you very much. I'm very proud of that because young Americans, they're my heroes. These were 13 to 18 year olds, boys and girls. Um, I tell you, the children's generation today, I've seen them all over the country here this campaign. And, uh, they're just, they're something pretty special. Yeah, they are. They are. I have one myself. I think so. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Thank you.